Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from kibbykink77.com here to show off a new Google app called Google Handwriting Input. It's available in the Play Store. I will uh, post all download links in the description of the video. Anyways, let's go into it. So you'll see right here, it's enabled. You have to enable it like any standard keyboard, download languages, a bunch of different language support. So if I go to languages, you'll see a bunch of them. I think over 80, I think 82 language supports right now, which is great because some languages are kind of difficult to use on a standard keyboard on a phone. So there you go. Um, let's go ahead and test it out real quick. So you'll see right here, you have a backspace space bar, you have punctuation up there, and you have voice input still. So if I say, hey, I have really bad handwriting. So there's, hey, uh, if I type there, it should put a space in there automatically, and it did. You can put an exclamation point, hey there. And then if you wanted to say, how are you? Now you'll see um, it has a little bit of time between typing the word and swiping over to the left. You can actually change that input time. Also, you have a backspace there. You can also swipe from the right quickly like this, and it's a quick backspace if you don't want to press the actual button if you mess up quickly. So if I wanted to say, hey, the I, S, I, S, C, O, O, L. Kind of neat, it knew when to put the space and it worked pretty well. So you also have emojis as well. So if you want to do a quick smiley face, um, you'll see a list shows up. It doesn't automatically select one. So you can press space to actually select one of these emojis or tap on one up there. So if I press space, let's try going like this. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen. This one feels pretty fitting for that drawing. So that worked pretty well. Uh, you can put a check mark. That's a pretty bad check mark and it knew. There you go. So kind of neat. You can kind of play around with it. Um, some other settings. So we go into settings here. Auto selection. This is what I was talking about. You can change it from 200 milliseconds to 1,000 milliseconds or back down to, I believe, 100 is the, the quickest. So you have theme options as well if you wanted to try material light. Let's go ahead and show you. So, I mean, it's just the light theme if you wanted to say hi, Tim. And there you go. So let's go back to those settings real quick, show some other things. You can share uses, usage statistics. You can share handwriting samples as well to make it better for them. And like I said, input languages. So very simple. I wish they would have integrated it into the stock Google keyboard. I don't know why they didn't. Uh, they still have voice input. You, you really have to switch the keyboard to go back to a normal keyboard. I don't know why they can't just have a settings button that changes the handwriting. But anyways, could be good for those of you that don't like using a normal keyboard and you like just typing. So hey, how is it with a question mark and it worked well so let me know what you think try it out see if your handwriting is worse than mine and see if it actually recognizes it let me know uh you think this is useful or not i know if i had a stylus it'd be much easier here's a pen i don't think it's gonna work yet you have to have a specific stylus of course um but anyways let me know what you think leave a comment be sure to subscribe as well lots more videos coming including a review on this device right here coming very soon so stay tuned for that follow me on facebook twitter google plus all links in the description of the video below and as always guys thank you very much for watching